Hello everyone, welcome back. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And our video for today is all about the 57th edition of Binibining Pilipinas Beauty Pageant has finally kicked off its pre-pageant activities by an exhibit of the Binibining Pilipinas National Costumes at the Gateway Mall from January 22 to January 31 and at the upper ground floor of Ali Mall from February 1 to 14, 2021. Binibining Pilipinas Charities Incorporated Chairperson Stella Marquez Araneta released an official message to all the fans which was read by the reigning Binibining Pilipinas International 2019 Patch Magtanong during the Facebook Live held last January 22, 2021. Mrs. Stella Marquez Araneta's message to all Binibini fans. Good day to all our supporters and followers. I am happy to announce that the Binibining Pilipinas Charities Incorporated is all set to continue with the pageant this year. We officially opened the Binibining Pilipinas season with the launch of the National Costume Photo Exhibit in Araneta City. Through this, we aim to celebrate our colorful culture and our talented local designers. Our tradition of identifying and crowning our new queens will be done in a new normal and safe setting. We share your excitement as we see the candidates in action again and we look forward to your continuous support. Thank you. As we all know, the Binibining Pilipinas International Crown is one of the most coveted and sought-after crowns under the Binibining Pilipinas pageant after the organization loses the Miss Universe franchise. The 60th Miss International Beauty Pageant will take place in the first week of November 2021 in Yokohama, Japan. The confirmation was made by Miss International Director Stefan Diaz during the live Missology Beauty Talk session yesterday, January 24, 2021. He also made it clear that a candidate should be 18 to 28 years old. Let's have a listen. Right, um, the girl has to be 18 years old by the time she arrives in the host country and should be 28 years old by the pageant night, which will be November. And considering the fact we still don't know what's going to happen in the next few months and there might, who knows, you know, it might be moved again or might be postponed. Hopefully not. I'm knocking on wood. Um, uh, it's uh, it's still the same. It hasn't changed. It's 18 to 28 years old. It's pretty much the same as most international pageants out there. I think our national directors know about that as well. Yeah. So, uh, just to clarify, if a girl is turning 29 this before the pageant night, she's she's no longer allowed to compete in Miss International. Right now, based on the contract that we have sent and those who have already signed up and paid for the franchise, that's the um, understanding. Yeah, we actually considered, like, to set, to set the record straight, we actually considered about um, accepting girls who would have turned twenty nine before the pageant happened. But this was probably thought about that. We thought about that like more than half a year ago, like maybe around July or August because we are still hoping that we could do the pageant around <laughs> January, March, February, or March, right? So, <laughs> but it just got moved and moved and moved further. So, sorry to say, but we just need to stick with the age limit that we have already um, uh, established in the contract. Thank you for watching and for more pageant news and updates, please don't forget to subscribe.